This next section will be all about monoprints. Mono meaning one. So I, I, sometimes in my classroom I like to start with literature and this book by Charles G. Shaw, It Looked Like Spilt Milk, is a, is a, a, a preempt to students learning how to clean up after themselves, how to wait and take their turns, and so I'll, I'll demonstrate that following just a little sampling of what the book is about. And some of you know this book, I'm sure. It looked like spilt milk. And of course, with the blue page. Sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. Sometimes it looked like a rabbit, but it wasn't a rabbit. Now, as many of you know, when you get to the end, sometimes it looked like spilt milk, but it wasn't spilt milk. It was just a cloud in the sky. Taking the idea of this book and how things get spilt, I am going to create a kind of monoprint that is called a blotto. I'm going to I'm going to first teach my students how to fold their paper, and I, I do this particular activity in kindergarten. And I might talk about the book, the first section, session, which is about 30 minutes, and then the next time they come, I remind them that when they come, be prepared for their milk party. So I take the paper, the short, the short end towards me, and hold the corners, and I fold the paper in half, and the students do a very good job about with this. And then crease it. And I ask them to write their name. That way, once they're through with their picture, then we have their name established. And with kindergartners at the beginning of the year, this is really a nice way for them to learn to write their name on the back of their paper. All right, my paper is folded. And as the students are handing out the, the, the milk, which comes in a cup, the students are asked to wait quietly until all things, all the supplies are passed out so that they can learn to take turns and also learn, you know, the proper procedures for using their uh, art supplies. So when it's time to spill your milk, students, I will go one, two, three, and if you would like, you can say, oh no, I spilt my milk, but because we do have some paper, we'll be able to blot it up and then we'll talk about what happens after this. One, two, three. Oh no, I spilt my milk. That's okay. I can blot it up and I can use my, my fist and I can rub it and you know, all of those paper towel commercials, how I will just soak it up. And then once you're through rubbing, you'll open it up and you will find a blotto, which is a print, and if you notice, the mirror image working for us, and the students will can then begin to share with each other and say, oh no, I spilt my milk, and then they'll say, but it's not spilt milk, it's a seahorse, or whatever they find within their print, so there's a lot of, a lot of opportunity for um, exploration of their imagination. And one example of something that I did with this, then the next time the students come, we used, uh, these were happened to be construction paper crayons, and they started to design and define what it was that they saw within their blotto. And that's it for the blotto. Um, and I take an extension of what Lanita was showing you with her spilt milk, and I let the children have three colors and they fold their paper and they pour one color, blot it, another color, blot it, a third color and blot it. The next week when it's dry we fold it so you can see the blotto, fold it in half so you can see the uh, image that they poured and then they cut around that image very carefully and they have lots of interesting shapes there and then they're going to cut in from the side and cut out eyes and they create a mask. Now this one was uh, an example that did not get finished, but you can add glitter, you can add streamers, you can make it a really um, quite lovely uh, mask.